Welcome back everybody, VST here, Valence Space Tech, and a new update to Wonderland, good luck, has added now a blur effect. How does it look like? All right, this is the first option, so we can do this horizontal and also vertical. Yeah, it's a nice one, by the way. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can configure it. But first things first, let me share with you. So this has been released on the 7th of August, almost 90 megabytes and the version of Wonderland is 1.6.15. And Wonderland is a module that can be used within Goodlock and also standalone that allows you to create wonderful, yeah, Wonderland, right? Wonderful, nice things on your lock screen and also on your wallpapers. And now the new thing here in this version is a blur effect. Added a vertical and horizontal blur options for the lock screen transitions effect. And in this video, I'm going to show you what you can do with this. So as I said, you can get to Wonderland either from Goodlock, uh, like from here, or as a standalone thing, because if you don't have Goodlock, but you just install Wonderland, you can also open this as a standalone application. So how does this look like, guys? All right, this is the standard preset or the standard presets from where you can create your own unique wallpaper. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna press new here. So once you're here, you can click on image setting, nothing else is available. And you have two options. You can go on gallery and you can also go and select the wallpaper if you have downloaded one. So you can select one for the lock screen and also one for the ALD. And you can also use, as I said, your gallery. In this case, I'm gonna use again the same wallpaper, very nice one. This is a free one from the Samsung Galaxy Store. After you press close, you're gonna have two additional options, the effect type and the effect setting. And we have a lot of effect types like CRT and Pixelate and Ripple and Sphere, Warp, Edge, Hexagon, Slice, Flip, Slide, Float, and guys, Fluid. This is one of the many big advantages and powers in one UI stock that you can do so much modding. And the new thing here is the blur effect, all right? So once you choose blur, you can go here and now, you have the option to tweak the effect. So effect type is the selection of the effect and the effect setting is the option to tweak the effect. In this case, we can go from fast to slow. So this is the very fast one. You can see rather very fast, okay? This is now the slowest one. It's gonna be very beautifully expanded, very slow. And this is the intensity of the blur. So right now you can see I have a lot of blur Right, so high intensity and low intensity means low blur, like almost in this case, no blur at all. So this was the vertical one. Okay, this is now the horizontal one, which is great, right? And then guys, you do have also uh, direction none, which means, all right, there's gonna be no direction. So just blur, which is also cool. But now, because this is Samsung, there is far more tweaking to be done. First things first, you can adjust the size of the wallpaper. Now let me go back inside and I'm gonna choose vertical and I'm gonna choose masking. And what this is gonna do, guys, I can now go here, right, and try to pinch to zoom the mask a bit, so to align it to the earth, all right? If I want to make the earth bigger, I can remove my masking, uh, bigger and smaller. So let's make it really smaller so that it kind of aligns with my mask. And then I can just go here and expand the mask to the maximum. And then I'm gonna have this very nice and sweet effect. And of course, you can also center it like this. This is all described here. You can either try to pinch and drag on the mask image. You can try to double tap, uh, okay, to see what's gonna happen. And try the long press to edit AOD mode. So if I now do the long press, I'm gonna be inside the AOD mode. All right, or you can just do double tap. And now guys, I'm gonna save it. So from here, I'm gonna press save. And then from here, I can apply the sweet as a butter on my lock in home screen, getting ready, two, three, one, and now boom. All right, I have this, all right, locking my phone, boom. Always on display, lock screen with a beautiful blur effect. One more time, all right, always on very nice and sweet with the mask. And remember, you can put the mask wherever you want and boom. Now, something that I'm not sure is that the adaptive clock probably doesn't work with that. I'm not sure why. I tried to tweak some other um, wallpapers and I can show you quickly the adaptive lock, guys. It's a cool thing. How do you do this? You just go, you edit your lock screen, you click on wallpapers, and it's going to suggest you some things from here. So this is gonna be, of course, in one UA8. I'm using, by the way, the BYGD. It's not the latest uh, internal test build, but it's, um, <laughs> it's certified. And from here you can see, yeah, now I have the adaptive clock, which is rather cool. And what does this mean, guys? Why do people call this adaptive clock? Well, because it's going to just jump or let's say shrink based on what you use. All right, let me show you. Always on display, 
Yeah, no, the best cutout and then boom lock screen and the clock is going to just behave like this And now you also have noticed I have disabled my lock star I do get this question a lot. Can I use also lock star with adaptive clock? Well, there are plenty of reasons for you to use lock star guys. Why because from here, you know, you can change um, the fingerprint animation like this one for example right and the question is let me just by the way use it i'm going to use this one and i'm going to press down and i'm going to have lock screen and also my adaptive clock uh, but i don't think that adaptive clock is going to work on a wallpaper that i set from wonderland or perhaps i'm wrong just let me know down below in the comments but now i have the new fingerprint animation from the lock screen all right lock star and then here guys i do have ah no the adaptive clock is gone somehow yeah anyway a lot of testing still required but my video was on the wonderland update and i really plan to use this for a while because it just looks so cool let me know what you think down below in the comments guys vst over and bye